Hi, I'm Scott Allen, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. Probably the most important thing for you to know is that I'm a follower of Jesus Christ and uh, a part of God's family. And the second most important thing is that I'm a husband uh, to a beautiful wife, Kim, and I have five, we have five fantastic children. And being a husband, being a, uh, uh, a father has really been one of the greatest joys and blessings of my life. I accepted Christ when I was 17 years old at a uh, Young Life camp off the coast of British Columbia, actually in a small island. We were sailing uh, in that inward channel. And it was, uh, uh, I was 17 years old, it was 1982. And my life has never been the same since that evening. Uh, completely changed me. I was born and raised in Oregon and uh, still love the outdoors and hiking and fishing. That's a very important part of me. I was raised by a wonderful family. After accepting Christ, I attended a very liberal, liberal arts college in, uh, in Oregon called Willamette University. And I studied history and I studied intellectual history. And it was at that time in my life that I came to see the power of ideas and how we, our cultures, are really governed uh, and ruled by the ideas of philosophers that have lived generations ago and how we don't realize it. Uh, I just came to see the power of ideas, uh, of worldview for shaping culture at that time. senior year uh, in college that I felt a call uh, to the poor, to serve the poor. Um, and that year I attended uh, a missions conference, the Urbana Missions Conference, uh, sponsored by InterVarsity. Billy Graham was one of the speakers, and it was during that time that uh, I responded to a call that one of the speakers gave to give my life to service and mission. And I stood up and God took me up on that call. That was a turning point in my life. And within a year, I had signed up and joined an organization called Food for the Hungry, a Christian Relief and Development Organization. And I served with Food for the Hungry for 18 years, both internationally as well as at their headquarters in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And that was also a very profound um, time for me I met Daryl Miller and was mentored by him. He became one of my best friends uh, at that time and was very much drawn to what Daryl was teaching on the power of worldview and a biblical worldview as really the root and the key to bring about transformation in the lives of the poor. And for many of those years at Food for the Hungry, that's what we did. We were teaching young people uh, these ideas and we would see the power of these ideas as they came to, uh, to internalize them and then go overseas into poor contexts and really live them out and put them into practice. It was in 1997 that uh, the leadership of Food for the Hungry was gathered together in the Philippines for one of our biannual leadership meetings. And God showed up in a very powerful way, and he spoke to us at that time about his love for the local church and how as we went into these poor communities, we needed to work with those local churches to help them really be the hands and feet of, of God, to really be his solution to the poverty in those communities in a way that we hadn't been doing before. And uh, we actually got down on our knees and we repented as the leadership uh, in terms of the way we had treated local churches, often neglecting them. And that was really the birth of the ministry called the Disciple Nations Alliance that I'm involved in now. to go to local churches around the world and share these teachings that are a part of this Quorum Deo program, uh, the power of biblical worldview and the need to put into practice a holistic approach to ministry 
through local churches using their own resources as a demonstration of Christ-like love. And uh, so we've been doing this since that time and uh, by God's grace this teaching is now being taught and going forward in more than 60 countries around the world. And uh, uh, we still feel a real burden and calling from the Lord to to share the teaching as widely as we can, and that's really what's behind the Coramdale Project. I have the privilege today of being the president of the Disciple Nations Alliance's small secretariat office in Arizona, where I uh, work with Darrow and with Bob Moffat uh, and with some of my very best friends and closest mentors. It's a great privilege and an honor, and uh, I hope that you're blessed by what you learn in this program. Thank you.